Hello and welcome to the Beer Market 2020. Now it's official. Since a couple of days, we entered and exited the bull market and entered the beer market 2020. A beer market is defined when the stock market and index, for example, like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones is losing about 20% from its all time high or recent high. All right. So if you are looking into this bloodbath, I mean uh, Dow Jones, then we see that the last big number there was 29,350 on the 18th of February. And now we are just about at 21,758 as of this recording. When you watch this, be cautious because it can be under 20,000 already. Now, as you can see, we are losing weight faster than Weight Watchers. And this is because everybody is panicking about this health pandemic, a global one. And uh, today's topic is more about the recession. The recession is a very scary word in the very first beginning because it sounds very, uh, very, very negative. Something like aggression or depression. Right. However, you should be uh, quite cooled down because today we are talking about the recession 2020. It's a uh, way to the recession. What is a recession and if it's good or bad and how far we are from a recession. So therefore, let's roll. Wolf of Dubai. So we will start with the definition of a recession. What is a recession? What's the fine a recession? Once we define the beer market, what is the recession? But before that, make sure to leave me a like and subscribe because more than 75% of you viewers are not subscribed yet. And this is totally a shame. Therefore hit and smash that subscribe button. And the definition of a recession is as follows. Uh, two consensus quarters negative GDP. Now the GDP, you might heard of it already because it was mentioned by some of the politicians, but actually I will just explain it what it is. It is the total value of goods produced and services provided in a country during one year. So all of this, what a country produces or does as a service, it's the total GDP. And if this, is on two after each other following quarters negative, then we are talking about the recession. And we had a couple of these recessions already. If we're looking into the history here, we had the last recession back during the financial crisis. This was from December 31st, 2007 until 30th of June 2009. So more than 18 months the recession was uh, there. And during this recession, we lost 37% in the S&P. Now, this is very scary because if we are thinking, okay, we are currently in the beer market, that the beer market and uh, economic situation can lead into the recession, and then the recession can lead to the 40% decline of the stock market, <sighs> then we almost at zero <laughs> but uh, bear with me like a beer currently beer with the wall street currently uh that's that's very scary i'm i, I totally agree with you but let's look into the whole picture during this total of recession since 48 and we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven recessions since 70 years okay most of these recessions were actually positive during the recession this is because of a very logical step think about it if the stock market loses a lot of value the stock market actually react almost immediately on the overall situation right so the stocks go down then we have the recession the following consequences the results of the total impact on the economy on the stock market 
market and then from there it's picking up again so it can be that the stock market loses most of the value coming into the recession and then goes out uh, quite significantly nice and during the recession also nicely all don't lose at all because you know it lost beforehand so we, it can be that the current meltdown on the stock market is actually leading to a recession and maybe I'm still thinking there's huge potential to go down for the market at this point because nobody can tank the market the bottom can be tomorrow can be next week can be in two months so therefore, you know, never try to time the market. It can cost you a lot of money. I started, maybe you saw my live feed. I said there that I uh, started to buy some puts on the Dow Jones because I just think that it's not the bottom yet. Uh, you know, uh, the government's don't taking the right measures to stop all this. And therefore I think there's still a little bit of room. And this uh, is like an insurance for my other uh, overall portfolio. So you maybe you should consider, read a bit about uh, options if you're not familiar with that, but don't trade anything that you don't know, right? Okay, so if you have long-term vision anyway, then just keep your portfolio as it is. Now, however, let's talk about this uh, thing so if you are seeing the median outcome on the stock market during a recession was actually positive 5.4 percent and uh, 55 of all recessions 55 percent of all recessions were actually positive and therefore you know you should not think about over recession as like a death sentence because in the end of the day it belongs to us it belongs to us like the winter summer autumn and spring because the economy is like a cycle right so we have you know the boom then we have like a saturation and then due to economical situations or outside let's say black swan events or other things like wars or or you know uh, other uh, fraud like it was actually you know 2007 or 2008 i would not argue if someone would say this was fraud doing being done on the stock market and this obviously collapsed and then you you know all the economy collapsed because it's so connected with each other and banks had just so much of this junk papers in their assets however I believe that this is a good opportunity to healthier the market and not always everything is uh, negative in a recession obviously you know a lot of people will lose their jobs a uh, lot of less consumption will be happening on the market we see now that you know people don't travel people don't spend people don't go out people don't gather you know uh, lockdowns like in italy are being made so actually the government restrict our movements our spending outside and this can lead and to will affect companies even some companies will go bankrupt that's the life of uh, economy and uh, therefore i believe you know companies like having a really strong product that still sells that have a good balance sheet those will be uh, healthy and those are the businesses you should invest and that's why i love to be a growth and uh, value investor because i look for the value companies that have really a good fundamental strengths and then have a great uh, growth opportunity because even when the growth opportunity will go down from 50 percent to 25 it's still a great great growth those uh, growth like 25 percent is something that uh, to the best timings apple or google or amazon or facebook has on its papers now you know what happens after the recession let's say the average recession um, takes time about uh, six months so what happened actually after the recession and the recession usually take 10 to 11 months in duration and then actually what happens is that uh, people are having more to spend they had less money consumed or paid for oil because the oil price also down by chance then the companies are getting healthier out of it they maybe reduce their cost they have more competition so so it's better for the consumer and they are all you know this always or most of the time as we have seen the last outcome of the last recession was a boom for 11 years the biggest bull market ever so if this is just like a small dent 
and then we go back to a bull market for a couple of years this can actually happen then i'm super happy because in the end of the day many of us were not really expecting but waiting for a situation like that because uh, you know especially those that lived through 2007 2008 2009 so hey i lost so much money why some people made so much money because they just you know waited on the sidelines invested in really really strong assets and had some extra cash to invest during this downturn because in the end stocks goes up and therefore uh, you know don't be afraid of the recession we both are in the same boat as the world is so connected and globally as we can see currently in the health situation and therefore you know don't worry and uh, be smart with your investment. This is by uh, subscribing to this channel for sure. And therefore, you know, let's uh, further see how all of this develops.